So, team, keep it clean. We ended up being right about the Ravens, unfortunately. See, this is one of those situations where you hate to have been correct about something that you thought uh, that was based off of one of the actions that the Baltimore Ravens took and the transactions that they made. If I take you back, uh, and, and real quick, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, turn notifications on so you do not miss not one single thing. And remember that I love you. Now, uh, back to the subject at hand. Uh, when the Ravens signed Laquan Treadwell, wide receiver, former first round pick Laquan Treadwell, on the same day that the Colts signed Rashad Perryman. But we talked about that already. But when the Ravens signed Laquan Treadwell, I thought it was kind of weird. I thought it was a bit strange. I thought it was a bit odd because I'm like, man, they really got a log jam at wide receiver. And it's great that they have that because Ravens don't typically have that. But again, like we always say, when you have more depth, your worst player is that much better. But when they signed Laquan Treadwell, I felt like there could be somebody on the move, particularly at wide receiver. I was thinking, OK, they may have somebody getting ready to be on the way out. Well, whether it's via trade, whether it's being released, somebody may be on the move or what I was hoping that it wouldn't be or there's somebody that's hurt. And in this case, there's somebody that's hurt. And actually, it's a little bit of both because they did have somebody on the move because a question that and I told you all that after 4 p.m. today uh, that we were going to find out. Um, if the Ravens were already at 90 men, if they had to release somebody, or if they could just add Laquan Treadwell without having to release anybody, they had to release somebody. Uh, and that person that they released uh, was undrafted quarterback uh, Nolan Henderson. Let's read the report for Jameson Hensley on that. It said, to make room for wide receiver Laquan Treadwell, the Ravens waived quarterback Nolan Henderson and undrafted rookie out of Delaware. Baltimore's four quarterbacks on the roster are Lamar Jackson, Tyler Huntley, Josh Johnson, and Anthony Brown. So them four brothers right there, shout out to them. But anyway, uh, so th that I guess that would put the Ravens at 90 men. So I guess Laquan Treadwell would have put them at 91. So to get back down to 90, they had to waive quarterback Nolan Henderson. Now, if I'm Nolan Henderson, um, I'm thinking of Kenji Bahar. And if I'm thinking about his story, I'm like, hey, Ravens, it's cool. I know I'll be back. Because the Ravens love doing this thing where they, they bring you back, then cut you, then bring you back, cut you, bring you back, cut you. So, Nolan, I, if I'm Nolan, I'm like, all right, cool. I, I, I see y'all boys in a little bit. Just, yeah, yeah I, I see y'all in a little bit. But anyway, um, for the bad news, uh, where we not so smiley about it. Uh, John Harbaugh, uh, also from Jameson Henson, he said, John Harbaugh on first round, Zay, first round pick Zay Flowers, not practicing on Tuesday. He had kind of a tweak Soft tissue thing. Oof. And I know once Ravens fans saw that. When soft tissue injury. <laughs> that brought back a lot of PTSD for a lot of Ravens fans because we've heard that before. We've heard the whole soft tissue injury before. And, and it's usually it's very vague, but the soft tissue could mean so many different things. But anyway. Uh, John Harbaugh on first round pick. Zay Flowers not practicing Tuesday. He had kind of a tweak, soft tissue thing. But it's, it's the bright side. He should be back next week. Uh, and Jameson also mentioned that Ravens hold their mandatory mini camp next week. So mandatory means they have to be there. It's a requirement that you're there because it's mandatory. So that's what I know. It's been a lot of people that have been out. But next week, hey, if you're going to be absent next week. That's going to start affecting your paycheck. So I'm pretty sure that everybody's going to be there. Unless there's somebody in a big contract dispute with the Baltimore Ravens. But I don't think there's anybody left. So we'll see. Maybe J.K. Dobbins. But I don't think. I, I, I think he'll show up too. Uh, but anyway. Uh, with Zay Flowers. Harbaugh. Uh, I'm going to give Harbaugh credit. And I'm going to give him. Not even necessarily a benefit of the doubt. But. I am, I'm going to roll with his word, reason being because last year he made up for it a lot. He made up for it because, uh, well, minus Rashad Bateman and that whole mess. But with guys like um, Marcus Williams, uh, when he, I think he broke his wrist, uh, but they were like, oh, Harbaugh said it's not a season ending injury. He's going to be out for a while. And he was out for a while. Uh, but he did come back. He came back. So I'm like, okay, Harbaugh, cool, 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 cool. With Tyler Linderbaum, when he had an injury, I think in the preseason, I believe, last year, 
Harbaugh was like, oh, with Tyler Linderbaum, it's nothing serious. He may be out maybe a couple of weeks. And I was thinking, mm, I didn't believe him. I really didn't. But Tyler Linderbaum was back in a couple of weeks. So, and I know there were some other injuries uh, that Harbaugh talked about with guys with the, with the, that they would be returning. And they did, like even um, Tylen Wallace. Like that one was a shocker to me at the end of last year. Um, with Tylen Wallace, they placed him on injury reserve. He had some type of injury. They placed him, well, maybe they needed a roster spot, but they placed him on injury reserve. And Harbaugh was like, oh, Tylen Wallace could be back. And I was thinking, yeah, okay. I mean, Tylen Wallace, really? You going to bring him? And they brought him back. They took him off injuries. I was like, oh, okay. So even though I know most Ravens fans are very scared when it comes to Harbaugh saying something like this about a soft tissue injury especially, I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust him right now because recently he has been a man of his word when it's come to injuries. And I know with injuries, like you can be told one thing by the doctor. Oh, but then there's the whole Lamar thing from last year <laughs> oh that one was <laughs> yikes so <laughs> mine is that even though i mean he, he just what do you say lamar's week to week is i mean yeah that mine is that whole mess and fiasco uh he's been a man of his word uh, and i know that was like yeah that, that that whole thing was just a mess um but we're here now so I am going to trust that Zay Flowers will be back next week. But uh, as far as uh, Dante Demas, okay, bet. It, he is still Baltimore Ravens. So that is what I was hoping for because I, 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 I did not want to see it to where, I, oh, they, 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 they just cut him. And somebody, somebody in the comment section made a great point. They were talking about how uh, with Dante Demas, he can't like feel entitled to his job, especially versus uh, somebody who's been in the league for what, five, six years? Well, no, no, no. He was a 2016 first round pick. So, yeah, somebody who's been in the league for, uh, yeah, like six years. Six years. Two thousand, no, four, three, seven years. Seven years, excuse me. Uh, so, somebody who's been in the league that long uh, versus him being an undrafted free agent, he can't be too upset that the Ravens are signing that guy to compete for a roster spot um, because that guy got experience. He done been here, done that and whatnot. Um, and Dante Demas is just, he just getting, literally just getting started. Uh, wasn't even drafted. Um, and I know I saw some people say, oh man, that's these new age football players. They always whining this and that and da 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 And my thing was like, look, I, um, I got no problem with him so with the whole okay bet. I, I got no problem with it. And like we said in the video, he could, he could be upset about it. I mean, I get it. Like, hey, you may feel like somebody, they, like somebody trying to take off of your plate. Whether it's intentional by them or not, well, he may feel like the Ravens are like, hey, what, like, what, what is this for? But at the same time, he could also be like, all right, when, when somebody says, okay, bet, like we explained in the video, that means that they may not be cool with whatever the situation is, but it does mean that they are going to deal with whatever that situation is. And, and they are going to accept what's going on and they are going to come up with their solution for how to deal with it. So, hey. Bring on the competition. Bring on the competition. I, I know a lot of people, when there was the conversation about DeAndre Hopkins, and I don't know what's going on with that right now, um, but when there was a conversation about the, the possibility of adding a DeAndre Hopkins, I know a lot of Ravens fans are like, oh, what about Rashad Bateman's feelings? What about how he would feel about that? Because uh, feelings are real. Like, I, I, I hate when people try to, um, just because they're football players and whatnot, people try to make it like these guys don't have feelings because they do. They do. Of course they do. All of them do. But nowadays, social media, they like they letting their feelings be known. They letting their feelings be put out there. Um, and they, they letting you know how they feel about whatever the situation may be. Um, but with Rashad Bateman, yeah, he could have felt some type of way if the Ravens added um, DeAndre Hopkins, too, along with Odell Beckham Jr. I mean, I'm sure he feels the type of way that they drafted Zay Flowers. So I'm sure the feelings are there, but now it's about, all right. Rashad Bateman, I'm sure he did his own version of okay bet because Odell is there. Zay Flowers is there. Aguilar is there. Laquan Treadwell is there. Those four other first round picks. Now, they, they, all their careers may not have gone the same, and Zay Flowers is to be determined. But that's competition. 
That snaps away from you to them. So I'm sure Rashad Bateman feels some type of way, but it's competition time now, baby. It's competition time. If somebody was going to just sit up there and mope about whatever the situation may be, I mean, you can do that. You're entitled to do that, but that's not going to help you. That's not going to help you win a job. It's not going to help you keep a job. You got to go out there and show yourself. So I, I don't mind playing. And, and, and Rashad Bateman, he voiced his frustration uh, towards sort of the Ravens front office, the, the medical staff earlier this offseason. Y'all remember. But um, so I ain't, I ain't got no problem with players voicing how they feel, their feelings, their frustrations, their whatever. I ain't no problem with that. But it's like, all right, after you do that, it's time to show up. You got to show up. And you have to justify yourself for putting yourself out there. You got to justify whatever it was that you said. You got to justify it. So it's like, all right, if you're going to be upset, okay, show them why you was upset. And show them why you need to be out there on that field a lot more. Show them that. So, because, and again, all players got feelings. All of them got feelings. Every last one of them. You know what? These ain't robots. These are people. They're human beings. So the feelings are there. But, again, now it's they, they got to be about that action. So, anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, again, Dante Demon's still there, which is great. Um, but, yeah. Nolan Washington, he's out of there for now. Like I said, Kenji Bahar, like, he'll probably be back at some point. Uh, but anyway, I love y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn your notifications on. Should be a fun uh, couple of days. I love you. Appreciate you. And like uh, Dante Demas is not when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, we out.